Hi, this is Teresa Momber, and here's a look at the card I'll show you how to create in today's video. Begin with a piece of white cardstock trimmed to four by five and a quarter inches, and then sponge Distress Oxide Fossilized Amber Ink along the middle, but be sure to tap off excess ink onto scratch paper first. Next, switch to Distress Oxide Peacock Feathers ink and continue sponging, working from the bottom up and into the yellow area. Once again, be sure to tap off the excess ink onto scratch paper and then build that ink up slowly. But don't worry if it's a little bit splotchy. We want it to be a little inconsistent on this water section, particularly on the sides. Turn the cardstock around and continue sponging working on the sky, but this time we are going to be a little more consistent and careful not to have splotches and we're going to keep it just a little lighter than the water. Flip it around again and uh, place a mask along your horizon line and then sponge just a tiny bit more with that Peacock Feathers ink. Remove the mask and then place your cardstock onto a craft mat. Now I'm going to add some color to the water uh, using a paintbrush. So I'm just swiping some Distress Oxide Twisted Citron ink onto my craft mat and then giving it a quick spritz with water. Then pick up a little bit of ink and make swiping, horizontal swiping motions along your water to just start adding in some uh, waves in there. And I'm going to add some more colors. This is Distress Oxide Salty Ocean and a little more of the Distress Oxide Peacock Feathers. Once again, spritzing a bit of water and then picking up that ink with my paintbrush. And again, I'll just make some horizontal swiping motions into the ocean scene. As you build the color up, start focusing a little more along the sides, getting the color a little darker on the edges.
For the sky, I'm just going to use some of the peacock feathers color and make some larger uh, horizontal blobs. Uh, they'll stand out a little more, but then I dipped my brush into water and then I'm sort of smearing those a little bit to make them a little lighter and a little softer. If your ink is a little wet still, go ahead and use a heat gun to dry it or let it sit until it's completely dry. Now here's the really fun thing about these oxide pigment inks. I'm using my Tombow sand eraser and I'm going over it and just making little eraser marks to lighten up those clouds and give them highlights and that's going to add a lot of texture and um, depth to those clouds. Now, you could do this a little bit with dye-based inks, but it really wouldn't work nearly as well. More of the pigment is sitting on top of these opaque inks, so it's layering on top of the cardstock more than it's embedded into it. So we can really pick up a lot of ink away from the cardstock doing this. I'm also going to add some highlights to my water. This time I'm just making horizontal swipes using the eraser. Once you're happy with the background, then it's time to do some stamping. I'm using Framescape's Tropical Skies and just placing my background into my misty stamp positioner and placing the stamp over the image right where I want it. Then I'll close the lid to pick up the stamp and then ink it up with Versafine Black Onyx ink and then just stamp the image. I'd like an island along my horizon line, so I'm going to stamp the smaller island stamp, also from the Framescape's Tropical Skies stamp set, once again using Versafine Onyx Black ink. Next, I'll stamp that flying bird, also using Versafine Onyx Black ink. Now you could leave your image just like this, but if you'd like a little more detail, I'm using the Prismacolor 70% Cool Gray pencil to add some shading below those palm trees and also the uh, island. Then I'll use the same pencil to add just a little bit of low lighting shadows to those clouds. To complete the card, simply adhere it to a piece of black onyx cardstock that's trimmed slightly larger and then adhere both layers to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch ocean mist card base.
That completes today's video. Thanks for watching.